guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this hand here and I'm going to put some stuff on my nails and we're going to give it a little wear test. So I have some goodies from Vetsy. If you guys want to go check them out, I do have a discount code and the link is in the description box. So I've been wanting to pick the solid nail tips glue up from Vetsy. Um, it's really interesting stuff. It's got such a very thick viscosity to it but it also does self-level. Um, it takes a while, but it does self-level. It's the coolest stuff. It's absolutely crystal clear, and I really want to try it gel -X style. So I also picked up a box of Vetsy's tips. These are the coffin tips. I don't know if they're considered medium or long, but for me, they're very long, uh, but they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to like fit these to my nails like I normally would like a gel -X tip, and I'm going to apply with the solid tip glue. And we're going to do a little wear test on it and see how it goes. So I'm just sizing up my nails here. And like always, you want to make sure that the tip fits on your nail from sidewall to sidewall. And you don't have any big gaps. And these have a really nice little bit of an apex to them. So they look really, really pretty. I love the shape of these. They're so nice. So just making sure that fits good. And there's all the rest of them. Size to my fingies here. And we're gonna just apply this. Now, I went to apply the pinky and I forgot to hit record, but I will show you on the next finger <laughs> how to, uh, to scoop it up. So <clears throat> I didn't prime my nails. I, they are just, you know, lightly etched. Um, ready for any kind of application. And I also didn't etch the inside of the tips because when I seen them apply this on their little videos on Instagram or whatever, um, they didn't show doing that. So I just, I really want to give this stuff the best wear test possible with no primers, no extra adhesion help. So I just went right in onto my nail with the gel, no base, no nothing, just to give it the best wear test I possibly could. So like I said, I, I didn't show picking it up, but I will on the next nail. So um, I just scooped some up and squished it down on my nail, made sure I cleaned up anything that was like seeping out. And I wanted to cover that up before I went in with my light to cure. So I just squished it down and it just stayed in place, which shocked me that it just stayed there. I was waiting for it to like kind of pop back up and make like an air bubble. It did not at all. It made applying these an absolute dream. So I'm just using my Apre Flash Cure here. Um, you can get these pretty much anywhere. Madame Glam has a little flash cure, which is really nice. Um, you probably get something like this on Amazon. You could use one of those little flashlights. Just whatever to flash cure it. And then I did go into my big lamp and do a full 60 second cure. There's no instructions whatsoever on the um, the packaging for this to tell you how long to cure it for or anything like that. But this sucker is on there tight with just that flash cure, it's not going anywhere. So I didn't quite have enough gel on this tip and you can see it didn't go all the way down to the very tip of my nail, which I wish it would have. Um, but this one I got too much. So there is definitely a learning curve on you know how much glue or gel you want to apply and yeah <laughs> so it just takes a, a little bit of practice on that aspect so I, I was very careful not to touch it with my fingers for a couple of reasons one you never want to touch uncured product um, for contact dermatitis reasons and two like I mean, you could pick this stuff up and ball it in between your fingers and make like a perfect little ball, which I've also seen on videos. So don't ever do that, <laughs> um, you know, for the two reasons. One, contact dermatitis. And two, you're just going to transfer like oils from your skin onto that gel and it's going to make the adhesion not so great. So you definitely don't want to be touching it. Um you know, for those two reasons. So like I said, this one I got way too much. I was really disappointed. So I was like, what can I do about this? And I just took my little like spatula tool and tried to spread it out or thin it out underneath and instantly regretted it because it looked like garbage. <laughs> but it's fine because I'm going to paint over them anyways. So I just, I wanted to thin it out a bit more. Uh, the rest of the nails I got on without any seepage like this, which was great. I was much more careful not to 
put too much on. <laughs> but anyways, I went ahead and cured that. And again, I was very surprised at how easy these were to put on and the fact that I could just kind of squish them down and they didn't go anywhere. They didn't move. They didn't pop up or anything. And you can see there, it was kind of self-leveling a bit. So it does do that. It's just really, really thick. It's a very interesting gel. I, I liked working with it. It made putting Gel X style tips on me way easier than anything I've ever done before. So I just kind of like when I apply it, I just push it down towards the middle of my nail and then slide it up toward the cuticle and then push forward to get the rest of the gel evenly dispersed onto my nail plate and trying to get it on as straight as possible. Very important. <laughs> And then just squishing it down really hard until I get it to the free edge. And then voila. I mean, they go on really well. I was very surprised. So I finished up the rest of my nails. They look absolutely gorgeous, this shape and length. But I will not be able to work on my clients with it like that. So I am going to have to shorten them. And on this one right here, you can see I got a little bit of seepage at the cuticle area. So I'm just going to take my sanding band and lightly go over that and clean it up. And then I'm going to take my sanding band and go over the rest of the nail and get it ready for gel polish application as well. And I'm just going to blend that cuticle area as best I can with the sanding band. Like I said, I didn't etch the tips at all. Um, normally I would do that with a gel X and thin it out a little bit back towards that cuticle area, but I did not with these. I'm just kind of went in for it and seeing what we get. <laughs> Wanted to give it the best wear test possible without doing the most. So I did that to all of the nails and they look so beautiful. I love, love, love how they look like this. Mm. So long, so beautiful. Swatch says hi, hi Swatch. Um, he's sitting here with me for my voiceover. <laughs> um, so I'm taking some tip cutters. Now, normally I would not do this with a Gel X because mm -hmm. you run the risk of splitting oh. the nail right down the center and it could crack it and then, you know, you've got a whole situation on your hands. So I usually just take a file, like my e-file, and I shorten the nail um, with that and and then the hand file to straighten it up. But I, I wanted to test out these tips because they seem really flexible and they are. Um, I kind of absolutely love them. So I will use them again for sure. Yeah, just going in with my tip cutters and cutting them down and then going in with my hand file to straighten it up. And I gave these a good tug and they were on there tight. They were on there very secure. So I felt like they were on great and yeah, shortened them up to a nice, you know, medium square-ish shape. And then I'm going in with this sugar and cream bright neon purple gel polish called Flip Floppin'. So cute. Um, I will have a swatch video on some of these sugar and creams. Um, I, I really like this gel a lot. The neons are stunning. I haven't really tried much of their other ones yet, but um, did get some of the neons to try out. So I will have a swatch video on that for you guys. So keep watching for that. And I'm just going to apply this to all of my nails. Go in with a Madame Glam matte top coat to finish them off. And I was so loving how the matte purple bright neon looked. I loved it so much. Um, I did not get tired of it. Wore it for two weeks. Didn't get tired of it at all. Uh, yeah. So then I'm just going to, you know, do my normal, go about my business with these on, give them a good wear test and come back to you guys and tell you all about it. Hey y'all, so it's been now two weeks since I've put these babies on. They're not going anywhere. So, uh, <laughs> um, Guy Lane was telling me, cause she had ordered the stuff and used it on her daughter and she said that they could not get it to soak off. <laughs> so I'm getting my nails redone today. Um, so I'm gonna take everything off. So I'm gonna try to soak this off. It's definitely something that we need to know if we can soak it off or not. It's very important. So 
I'm going to file it like I normally would any Gel X, and please don't mind all the little extra bits. I've been swatching polishes <laughs> on myself here and there. Um, we got a bunch of regular polishes in, so yeah. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm going to file this off like I normally would, like a Gel X set, and I'm gonna wrap it up with foil, and we're gonna see if it's going to soak off. I've also been absolutely loving this new Melody Susie uh, e-file that I got. Um, there will be a video on that. So I'm just using a pretty aggressive bit. This is the uh, T-Rex bit from Erica's. Okay, so as always, I'm going to take the extra length down and leave my natural nail length. Um, you don't want to have to be soaking off all this extra tip here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that all the way back to where my natural nail is as much as I can without hitting my natural nail. Like I said, I'm getting new nails today and I want to keep my natural nail length as, as best as I can. Okay, so now I've made a proper mess here. <laughs> um, I've, I got this down pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. This is my preferred method for removal. These are the removal wraps that I use. I get these from Premier Nail Source. Um, you can soak them in a bowl if you want to. Uh, whatever removal method that you normally use that works best for you, this is just the one that I like good bit of acetone and it's always hard for me to wrap my own finger especially my thumb so I'm gonna get this one wrapped up really good and then I'm gonna start filing the rest of the nails and then we'll come back to this one and see what we got um, but I will say that if this stuff soaks off like it should I absolutely loved it it went on like a dream it's held on like a dream we have been um, moving in a new nail tech and I've been helping put cabinets and carts and things together, moving pedicure chairs around, doing all kinds of stuff with these nails on. And these are a bit longer than I'm normally used to. I've had zero issues whatsoever. They've held on tight. Um, same as every other gel X set that I put on myself. I get that little bit of a lip when it grows out just because I'm putting it on myself and it's a little harder to do. But I mean, they're fantastic. For me, personally, to, to put Gel X on myself, it's really hard to hold the nail and do the light and everything. And then with these, it was so much easier because I could just kind of squish it on and then cure it and I didn't have to hold it. it. They went on like a dream, so I absolutely love that. I hope they come off. <laughs> I hope I hope Gailene had a fluke incident and couldn't get them off, but she said she couldn't get them off her daughter and I'm a little concerned, so. I'll meet you guys back here in about 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna check it here. I will say these are also the Vetsy tips and I've very much enjoyed them. And I would say that that is dissolving, but it is not ready. Um, it seems like it's gonna come off though. I'm gonna keep keep it wrapped up a little bit longer here. Do probably another five minutes or so, and then check back. Okay, so it's been a few more minutes. I went ahead and wrapped up the rest of them to get that started. And let's see what we got here. So it's different <laughs> than what gel normally soaks off as. Um, it's very weird. It's very stretchy. It feels like slime, but it's just peeling right off my nail. So it like kind of turned into this rubber kind of 
thing. I don't even know how to describe that, but it's off. It's completely gone. Um, that was weird. <laughs> I've never had anything come off like that before. Very strange. So it didn't really dissolve per se, uh, like how gel is supposed to break down, but it did like change its, like, I don't know, it, if you want to call it viscosity, I don't think that's the right word. It changed its makeup in some way to become like more rubbery and a little bit brittle and it just kind of pulled right off my nail. Um, it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm on the fence right now, guys. I really like the application and I like the wear of it. The soak off ability of it is a little strange. Um, I, you definitely don't want to pull it off your nail like I just did uh, because you're going to cause a little bit of damage. You can see it pulled up just a little bit of my nail plate right there. Not a ton, and I'm not super concerned about that, but I wouldn't do that to a client, that is for sure. Uh, yeah, little little strange. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Okay, so we've been soaking for a while, and let's see if I get my light over here a little better. So kind of the same thing. It just turns into this like weird rubbery situation. This one I got a little thinner when I filed it. So just kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, it's not too bad. That one came off a lot easier. Like I said, I filed that one even thinner than the thumb. Let's see this one here. So yeah, it's really weird. Uh, <laughs> it just kind of, you know, turns into this sheet of rubber and it just pulls right off after it's soaked for a while. I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know. At first I'm like, I don't know. It's weird. I, I, this is, this is strange. But now I'm like, I don't know. This is all right. So you just kind of get it started and it just pulls right off the nail. It's really a lot less messy than soaking off acrylic or anything, honestly. Um, so very strange, but I kind of like it. So you can soak it off. Thank goodness. Um, very very odd though see it's just like it <laughs> it's really interesting so it just it does take just a little bit longer um soaking it than what like luminary or something or like a normal gel x would take um but it, it's less messy it just kind of comes right off it's it's very interesting so i really like it uh, yeah, that one I don't think was quite ready when I pulled it. I pulled it a little too soon and it was still kind of stuck there. Um, but it does do, it doesn't dissolve completely, but it turns it into like, I don't know, something else and it just, it comes right off. So final thoughts on it. I love it. I will be using it again. I will probably only use that when applying gel X style nails to myself because application on myself an absolute dream. I do want to try this on my friend who works here. She's hairdresser here. She only ever gets gel X. She's got very, very, very thin nails. I mean, tissue paper thin. And gel X works wonderful on her. I mean, it's like the only thing that stays on her nails. So I really want to try this on her and see how it works. Since now I know I can get it soaked off. And I just I feel like it'll soak off easier too. I love how it I, I love how it came off. I really do. At first, like I said, I was completely weirded out by it. I'm like, I don't know about this, but you just gotta let it sit just a tiny little extra longer and it comes off kind of like a dream. So I'm loving it. Um, if you guys want to go check out any of the stuff from Vetsy, uh, there is a link in the description box that you can click and I have a coupon code. Um, so I'm gonna pop that up on the screen here for you. Go ahead and check that out. Their tips are fantastic. I love the thickness of them. They're thick and flexible. And I believe I showed when I put these on that I did not etch the tip. Now that would have helped a bit with the um, lifting at where it grows out, like where the hair gets stuck under it. I always get a little bit of a lip there. If I would have like thinned that out better, that probably wouldn't have happened. But I don't know guys, I really like it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but yeah, I really liked it. The, the tips were great. Um, the adhesion of that stuff is fantastic. I did minimal 
priming and all of that, I think the only thing I did was prep my natural nails, like etch them, and that was it. I don't even think I put any primers or anything down. I have to go back and watch the video. It's been, like I said, a, like almost two and a half weeks now that I've had that on, and I, I just can't even remember how I put it on, but I know that I wanted to give it the best wear test that I possibly could just to see how good the adhesion was, and I'm obsessed. I love it. So most of my girls go like three weeks with Gel X, um, I, I'm sure I could have gone another week with this and it would have been just fine with no lifting or issues with it popping off. So, and my hands are in water a lot. I do pedicures. You guys know the spiel. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would 100% recommend. Go check out Vetsy. They have some of the coolest stuff there. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. Um, leave any questions or comments below and I will get back to you. I try to get back to everybody um, as best I can. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye. Bye.